So in this video, I'm going to talk about Voice Beater Banana. Now, Voice Meter is what I use to send the audio from my gaming PC to my stream PC. It has a really awesome feature called VBAN, which is basically a network protocol that sends audio. So let me show you my Voice Meter on my gaming PC. So here's my gaming PC. And then I've already gone in another video on No Machine and talked about that. And let me pull up my voice meter on my stream PC. Okay. So you can actually see the audio bar on my gaming PC moving and the same audio bar moving on the stream PC. What I've done to do this, you see this little green light up here, VBAN. Now I got to warn you guys when you first get voice meter, it's going to be a little complicated and there's a lot of buttons to choose. I use banana. There's different levels of voice meter as far as complexity. Banana is the most complex, but it also allows you to do the most. I recommend banana. <clears throat> what you got to do is set up your hardware inputs, okay? And you're going to use this thing called VBAN. So, VBAN, basically, you're going to have an outgoing stream, bus B1, going to the IP address, your local network IP of the stream PC, 192.168.14. That's my stream PC you're seeing here. Now, on your stream PC, you're going to have an incoming stream, right? This gaming PC is your outgoing stream the stream PC is your incoming stream and you're gonna have the IP address of your gaming PC here so that's 11 192.168.11 right and you're gonna turn that on and the destination on this guy this is kinda of small to see so let's make it a little bigger oh great we can't okay the destination is in number one which corresponds to this hardware input one alright so let's go back to the gaming PC and talk about this a little more. So you'll see here B1, that's bus 1. That's what I just set this VBAN to output bus B1, right? So I've got it set up such that my microphone instrument, which is my uh, Samson G Track Pro, my, there is a microphone I'm using to record, it's outputting to B1. And my desktop, I have a virtual input, which if I went to my soundbar, unfortunately I can't show that right here, but if you looked at my default audio device, it's the voice meter aux input, and that's also outputting to, to bus B1. That's my game sound that you're gonna hear. So what I did is I disabled in my Windows settings, let's go check out my Windows sound setting, and playback devices, right? I've got pretty much everything disabled except my voice meter aux input because that's the only thing I want my applications such as um, Discord in the game to go to. So you, you can really do a lot with this, guys. You can have your Discord, for instance, only go to your headset if you wanted to um, and not to the stream. So there's a ton of stuff. It's basically, they call it voice meter banana because it's basically like a soundboard where you can change banana plugs and choose where things go to. You can change the routing. So your hardware output I've set up use MME that's really important actually if you don't use MME you're gonna hear a lot of like I was having times where the audio would kind of like cut out and do weird shit so MME is the protocol you want you'll notice that every device has WDM KS MME it's the same device it's different audio protocols so go with MME alright so I've got one audio device is my headset one output another output is the capture card which actually doesn't matter I don't use that at all um, the only really important one for me is my headset because the other output, if you will, is my um, VBAN, which I'm choosing the B1, B1, B1. All right, and you can see that I have, if I were to choose A1 here, I would actually hear this in my headset A1, which I don't want to hear myself talk as good as my voice sounds. So you can basically click these on and off. Oh, now I hear myself. Turn it off. Um, I won't get into noise gate and comp, there's other videos on that, but I turn my noise gate a little lower because I don't, that's basically when the microphone turns on. I don't want me breathing to start transmitting audio, basically, especially since I'm a mouth breather. It's very embarrassing. All right. So that's basically it for here. I don't use this shit. Um, I basically just use the audio output device. So I know that this probably is a very quick overview. What I did is I actually read, there's a manual from, uh, from VoiceMeter on how to use this stuff. 
I really recommend it, especially if you're trying to get the professional level of sound. Like you really need to understand this whole thing. You got to play around with it a lot. Um, on this end, you'll see I have some audio adjustments. You can tune this up and down to adjust your um, the level of your sound. Um, the way that I tuned my audio levels, so you can see I could adjust my microphone volume or I could tune here to adjust my desktop volume. The way I adjusted that whole thing was to basically just go into OBS, start recording, play some games, and then talk, and then figure out if, you know, does this sound good? So you can see here my voice is kind of just barely hitting the yellow. If I talk, you know, if I yell, it's going to go into the red. Same with the game. You can kind of see where the game's peeking out. You can use that mixer in OBS. So on the stream PC side, I've got the desktop audio here and you can see everything else is muted. I'm only using the desktop audio and I've got voice meter um, input one here going to the virtual input and that's the device. If I show that's my headset that I'm listening to speakers, U P and P sound device. I basically have it. So that's going to my speakers, which I don't have on. I, you, it's kind of tricky to explain, but basically I keep a set of headphones plugged into the PC so that way I have a output device to go to and I output the, and it's also good for testing so you can actually hear yourself talking and things. You can make sure that the microphone is going from the game PC to the stream PC. So I basically have a set of MME, again, speakers. That's just the back of the plug on my PC. Oh, sorry, actually I have a USB set of speakers on this one, but you could do the same thing. You could plug a, a headset into the back of the PC. And I have the desktop audio here, hardware input one, which is going to here, IP address from destination in one, right? In one going to A1 output one, right? So if I uncheck this, you wouldn't hear me. Now you hear me, okay? Um, I don't think I even used the B. That doesn't matter. I don't know why I had that on. So I know this is a lot, guys, and honestly, this can be very setup dependent on how many hardware devices you have and stuff. The, the best advice that I can offer to you is to disable sound devices you don't need and have a set of headphones plugged into your stream PC and just listen to, until you hear the microphone passing through the V-band from the game PC. So um, you can post comments and questions on here. Please be detailed if you ask me a question saying I don't hear my sound isn't going to help me answer your question. All right. So I might be able to help you guys. I'll try. Um, another really important thing you need to do in your setup is in Windows, in the sound settings, which if you right click on your taskbar and go to sounds, that's how I got up this menu. I, I don't have it on my PC because this isn't my main monitor. Um, but basically, you right click on the volume icon and say sounds, you'll see this menu. Um, you need to make sure that your recording devices are all on the same output rate. So if I go to properties of here, okay, this is my microphone, and I go to default format this rate can sometimes cause issues okay if you don't hear sound sometimes it's because you have two recording devices at different sampling rates right you got to make sure that your everything's running at the same sampling rate or you're going to have problems so dvd quality is probably what you, what you want i didn't notice i was on cd cd quality but it doesn't matter just make sure everything's at the same rate and then go up in quality you don't <laughs> the human ear can't hear this high 96 hertz so i wouldn't bother with that so that's it guys. Um, I hope this helps you out. V-Band's a super powerful piece of software that it's basically like your own audio. It, it's using software instead of actual hardware. So instead of a soundboard and it can accomplish the same quality. So I definitely recommend it. It's what I use and I hope that helps you out. Check out the other videos in this series. Um, if you're, this is the first video you're seeing, check out the overview to see my dual PC overview. And I go into the other software that I use to control this. Leave me the like and subscribe if this helps you out.